We are guys walking through the ladder. Yeah. Whoa. Working all day. Ceiling is done. Even the little trim piece that wasn't up the other day, it's there. Very cool, very cool. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in today. The guys are here working, working. Station. Oh my gosh. And the storage. Looking pretty. Looking pretty. Alright, let's see what this next one's going to be. Mm. It should be like right here, probably. See, that's. <laughs> that one's an odd number because that studs. Because You're more. doing a stair so right step there. look. So, so you don't um, have one big old seam in the middle. 132 and 3 quarters in that. Yeah, because it's uh, the studs where the, the door jam is. Videos for today. Working, working. And as I walk to Happy Haven, my latest find I just dug out of the ground. I didn't really dig, I just pulled it. Crazy. I'm making a pal yonder. I'm gonna be back tomorrow. Back tomorrow. You enjoying this, guys? I sure hope so. Fun times. Day two of shiplap. Woo! It's about one o'clock. I know they get here around 7, 7.30. Surprise in the box to show you later. So, let's see what the busy bees are doing. The worker bees. Yes. What I showed you yesterday, if you're watching in entirety, was this was almost done yesterday. I said that gray stuff can come off, that that's just from metal or something, so that that'll wipe off. And now they're into craft room slash bedroom. Well, lots going on here, lots going on. Cool. And then a little bit more in here. Lots of details here, lots of details. Alrighty, looking good. Looking good. And this is the three by six closet, something like that. Wow. So what do you think guys? Put in the comments, what do you think? I was wondering if it was overkill. Of course, I don't even wanna know that now because it's too late. <laughs> I guess once all the furniture's in here, the only thing the guys were thinking was maybe too high a ceilings, but I think I'm going to be happy with that when I'm living in here all day to have the higher ceilings. Of course, the heat does rise, so. Very cool. Yeah, if they were brought down two feet, you know, just starts to come on top of you, right? There we have it. Gotta turn their music back on so they can keep working efficiently. 
I'm excited. I'll check back tomorrow or the next day. I do have to work four days in a row here coming up after tomorrow. today the enclosed trailer is here and the truck with the open bed workstation oh my gosh guys I think I'm gonna like pick up all these pieces and use these for plaques what do you think I'm so excited I think those are gonna make some great crafty things put in the comments what could I do with those I'm thinking decoupage uh, put photographs on those get stands for them yeah Guys are over there working, working. I asked Steven on a scale of one to 10 how it was going. He said that's hard depending upon what he's doing. More going on here. And I think Tony's inside. Maybe I'll get to talk to Tony. And he can tell me the official stuff of what's going on. Hey, Tony, how are you doing? Hi. So what's going on today? Oh my gosh, the windows. Well, today we did all the window jams. We ripped this stuff here. We ripped it down to size, pre-built them, put them in, and nailed them, and then went through and put all the window casing around them. Okay. So this is called window jams. Window jams. This is casing and use, using the shift lap. So, wow. So you guys, this is like day number five or six, I think, all together so far. Yeah, I think it's six. Yeah. Six for sure. Yeah, and, and so how, how do you think it's going? You think it's going good? Pretty good. Yeah. I think it looks really, really nice. I appreciate all your hard work. And now we're to the point of floor. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks, Tony. I'm going to just spin around here. And Tony said he was going to go get the flooring, which is awesome. I don't have to put it in my SUV. <laughs> that would be a, a challenge. I think there's uh, 17 boxes now. He picked up one earlier so I could match cabinets to it. And the guys are in here, squishy area here. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. When you come in, when you come in tomorrow, you'll see your cabinets. The cabinets will be here or? I'm picking them up tomorrow morning because we'll have floor down tomorrow and we'll start setting cabinets. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, guys. With all that, you need to stay tuned if you want to keep watching this uh, completion of this micro tiny home. More to come, more to come. He's making little pieces for the shower. Collecting now, guys. Oh my gosh. I got a new craft idea. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm excited because I love these little pieces that look like plaques. What do you think? I think I got something good going on here. Just a little bit more to go through. The last board up there. And then here's these little guys. We get around the corner here. I'm really only ever bothering these guys for about five minutes a day, so. If you guys think I'm in their way, I'm really not, but for a couple minutes. But he's putting the little pieces alongside here and then trim on top, so. Very cool, just showing you a little bit more. Just talking to Steven and he taught me something new here, guys, that I'm gonna try to explain to you, but he was showing me up here that they have padded these, I guess the walls? Studs. The studs. <laughs> He's helping me out here. And so that everything would chive. To me, I'm thinking like the word flush, but chive, that's the word. Guys put in the comments, have you heard the word chive before? That's brand new to me. The only chives I know is like food, I think. 
And then they're doing it over here too, that there's no gap, like with the shower, these extra pieces of wood. So everything is like really, really showing a lot of, you know, detail and consideration. Because if they didn't do this, he also said to me that the pocket door would be sticking out a little bit and not chive. Right, Stephen? Yep, good terms. Okay, cool. Right here. Frame, pad, wall. Learning as I go. Maybe next time around in life, I'll be a builder. You never know. Tony said to me, it's looking like a house. And when I first walked in here, I didn't even notice the window sills. And I just absolutely love window sills. I'm so excited. Floor and then cabinets, guys. We can just end here for today. And you will have to stay tuned for more. More fun here at the micro tiny home. Yeah. Blessings in your day and joy in the journey. Later.